Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You know it's Nova. And to be honest, my first impressions of Dragon Ball Fighter Z, it's a really good game besides the disconnects. It is a beta after all, but this game actually feels like a brand new fighter game that I never played before. I don't know if it's the visuals of the game or if it's the sounds or if it's just it's because it's the Dragon Ball game, but this game definitely will take game of the year in my opinion. So, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, also known as DBFZ, is a 2.5D fighting game developed by Arc System Works and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment based on the Dragon Ball franchise. This game has been in development for quite some time and we got a first glimpse of this game during PAX of 2017. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is set to be released in early 2018, but for right now, for two days only, the closed beta takes place on PlayStation and Xbox consoles. So is there anything bad that I can say about this game since I am a hardcore Dragon Ball fan? When the beta first launched on Xbox, I was only able to complete half a match. The game matched me up with someone close to my region, and before I could finish the match, the game froze and crashed. At first, I thought this was because I was beating someone's ass so good that the game crashed, but in fact, this was due to a high volume of players trying to play at once during this closed beta. This is in fact the first time this game has had any sort of multiplayer testing, and during the PAX presentation, the developers only gave us a look at what the 1v1 to 3v3 fighting would look like, so there was no testing for the multiplayer servers until now. So after the 22 disconnects I encountered during the first session of beta testing, trial mode became active. Now trial mode is set apart from the multiplayer mode, and trial mode allows players to have practice fights with random teams but with no disconnects. Now in my opinion, I think something like this should have been implemented into the game before, so players could choose to either practice and home in on their skills, or just jump right into the multiplayer action. Unfortunately, since this is a beta and there are still tons of things to be fixed in patch, I was really impressed with how the social hub zone was laid out. You got to choose who your icon character was, and obviously in my case I chose Vegeta, and you got to run around in a little area with other people who were in your server. This of course led to more disconnects. But on the bright side, players who were experiencing lots of disconnects could actually just watch other people fight under the spectator mode in the arena. And another thing about the social hub that I thought was really interesting and cool to see was the replay channel. The replay channel of DBFZ allows players to rewatch their matches with bots and or with other players, showing you the buttons you use during the entire match. You can somewhat consider this to be an after action report, but again, this is the beta, so there were no stats available. I was also very curious as to know if there would be a story mode or some sort of single player mode like other fighting games, taking it back to the PlayStation 2 models in the Budokai Tenkaichi era. Now, when it came down to the sound, because sound is a big thing when it comes to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Super, whatever you want to call it, uh, I have never been so happy and in my feelings for a game before in a long time. Hearing the Japanese voices of the characters really brought me back to the old Dragon Ball Z days and just feeling and seeing how much they put into the actual audio of the game to make it be as real as possible. It makes me feel like this game can be game of the year. I know it's a bold statement, but uh, hear me out here. So if you use a headset or if you just use your TV speakers, you're immediately brought into the atmosphere of the game. With all the classic Dragon Ball sounds and interactions with other characters, it, it kind of gave you a glimpse of how and if a story mode was implemented, how the characters would interact with each other. The graphics of this game are unparalleled, no pun intended. The 2D fighting scheme is definitely one of a kind and I can expect other games like Marvel vs. Capcom, Tekken, and Street Fighter to use models like this when creating updated versions of their games. The graphics of this game look and feel better than what I was expecting. The intermissions between fighters losing and fighters coming into the match are just so unique and different over time that I can't even put into words how well done this is. Bandikai Namco, Arc Systems, very, very great job. Now when it came down to understanding the buttons and the layout of the controller, I was completely lost. I had no fucking idea what I was doing. I was lost in the saw so bad that I went back to my Budokai Tenkaichi PlayStation 2 button mashing rhythm until I got a hang of things. 
And to be honest with you guys, I have not lost a single match. And I might just take this shit all the way to the league, but we'll just have to see on that. Now, understanding combos is a lot different in this game compared to something like Mortal Kombat. You use your left stick for majority of the movement and combos, and you leave the D-pad out of it. No matter how much I wanted to use the D-pad, since that's what I'm used to using, I was not able to do so. Matter of fact, there wasn't even a start menu, so you literally either had to look up online what the controls were, or you just had to feel it out for yourself. But besides the constant disconnects, the first few hours of this game brought me back to 1997 when the world's strongest movie was released and it felt like I was being reintroduced to Dragon Ball for the very first time and falling in love all over again. Honestly, I wish this beta could last longer than two days, but since this is only for two days, I plan on getting as much gameplay as possible so I can go through with my future plans that I have for this channel. I don't expect the sky, the moon, and the stars when it comes to this game. This is one of the first times this company has been testing multiplayer on the Xbox servers. So even if I can't play with other people as much as I really, really want to, having trial mode is the best that I can get and that will have to do. I love Dragon Ball, I love Dragon Ball Z, not so much GT, Super is pretty dope, and Fighter Z is unprecedented. I can't wait for this game to drop for Xbox in early 2018 and I hope with the next few hours and the next day that they can release the other beta characters because I would love, I would love to play as Android 17, that is the realest guy on the roster right there. But besides everything else, if you have not been accepted into the Xbox Insider program, be sure to head over to the hub, download the app, and enter to see if you can still be accepted in. There are limited spots available, so act fast. But other than that, I love this game, I love you guys, and if you guys want to see more DBFZ videos and Dragon Ball related content, hit that like button and tell me in the comments below who your favorite Dragon Ball character is of all time, and if you could have anyone in the game to play as, who would it be? So with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and now I hope you guys have a great day, and if not, tomorrow is a new day, so make it count.